Today we are releasing WolfQuest Anniversary Edition Update 1.0.7. This is a uh, got a lot of stuff in it, so let's uh, take a look. First up is our new Age Perks system. This is our version of XP and ranks and that kind of thing. We've been working on this for a couple years, <laughs> on and off, designing and redesigning and re-redesigning it. Um, we really want to capture the arc of a wolf's life from being young and full of vim and vigor to an older wolf who may be losing that physical edge but has gained other things in compensation like wisdom and clout. So now on your birthday, which is April every year, just like your pups, you can decide whether to age up, whether to advance and age or not. You don't have to. You can always stay age two or advance a year or two and stay there for the remainder of your time playing the game. But if you do age up, you can choose from a number of perks that give you some advantages. And these perks change from year to year and they do not stack. Every year, year you're older, you might have some new perks that you could choose from, but the perks you had before are going to go away because that's how life works. And if you keep advancing in age from year to year, every time you have another loader of pups, which you can do just by, after you complete Slough Creek, start a new game in Slough Creek, choose a mate, or go to Amethyst and get a mate first, and just go through Slough Creek again and have another litter of pups, and just before they're born, it'll be your birthday again. And so if you do keep doing this year after year, when you reach age seven, you will have the choice to advance another year to age eight. And if you do that, you will become an elder wolf. You'll lose one point on all your physical attributes, and at some point, that wolf will die. Pass forever from the earth. So not a choice everybody's gonna make, but the feedback we've gotten from players in beta testing is that for those who find this of interest, it really is a, a very meaningful and powerful way to finish out the full life of one of your wolves. So we hope you'll think about it. Now, of course, every year when you're Slough Creek having pups, you also have a mate, and your mate will also advance in age if you do. If you choose to age up, they'll age up as well. No, they don't get any perks along the way. And then, when they're seven, whatever age you are, because sometimes uh, you could have a mate that's a year or two older than you, if you age up and they're age seven, they will advance to age eight, and they will become an elder wolf. And that means that they too will eventually die in the game. Oh, and once an elder wolf has died, uh, like Iron Wolf, that wolf, you can't start a new game with that wolf. But you might have some old save games with that wolf before they became an elder wolf. Well, if you load one of those, because your wolf is dead, you go into a special reminisce mode where you can revisit old times. See your mate when they were young, see your little pups, play around with them some, but you can't save these games. They're just there to let you go back and relive some memories and remember the old days. So that's the new age perk system. Another new feature here is Iron Wolf, the hardcore mode, living life on the edge. In Iron Wolf mode, which you enable when you create a wolf, you can't enable it with an existing wolf, only when you create a new wolf, then from there on you get one life to live and your first death is your last. And once your wolf dies, it won't be playable again. You can visit it in the uh, My Wolves carousel, but you can't start a new game with it. So H perks and Iron Wolf are separate features, but of course the ultimate thing that you can do now is play as an Iron Wolf from age two. Go year after year aging up till you reach age seven. Take that next step to age eight and become an elder iron wolf. And uh, we'll probably have lots of stories to tell your pups and grandpups before inevitably, sooner or later, passing on. And finally, this update brings beavers to WolfQuest. They are out and about from April through November, swimming up and down the river, trundling along the land to find stands of aspen and willow, which they'll munch on for food and uh, then carry back branches to their dams and lodges as building materials. So as you're running around, when you come upon a beaver trail, you'll get a notification the first time, just so you know what it looks like. It's a, uh, and you can lay down and wait there. You press uh, and hold the control key to lay down in a special laying and wait mode for uh, getting into an ambush state of mind and hope that a beaver will come along. Now, you're not guaranteed to see a beaver. They are more active at dawn and dusk, but they still might have chosen a different trail to go find their wood for the evening or morning. But if one does come along, as it approaches, you'll get an alert to hold on the shift key, to hold very still, so it doesn't notice you. They don't have very good vision. They have a good sense of smell, so you want to be downwind of them. And if you're holding very still, then they may come very close to you, and you can 
do a quick attack, and you'll do extra damage if you're quick enough and get that first bite in real quick. But remember, they do bite back. They've got sharp teeth honed on wood, so you'll take some damage too. And then it's a race to the water. Can they reach safety before you kill them? It's generally a close call one way or another, and this time he got away. So these three new features, Age Perks, Iron Wolf, and Beavers, we've got information in the game about them. There's tutorial tips and that kind of thing, also in the game help. There's more details, and of course, on our website on the knowledge base, we have all the information about them. So a lot of detail there if you really want to know all the ins and outs. So in addition to those three big features, this has a lot of other stuff in this update. There are some underlying things like uh, Miko rewrote the scent rendering system, so it'll be faster on low-end computers. Um, we know there was always a performance drop when you switch to scent view on those, and uh, there's still a small drop, but not nearly like it was before, so much, much better. Andre reworked the music system. We have adaptive music, so we have multiple layers of the music playing at one time, and now this eliminates those occasional times when the music gets out of sync with itself, which is really jarring. And there are also dozens and dozens of bug fixes and various improvements in this update. So this is a pretty big update, probably bigger than we realized it was when we started on it uh, in the winter. Um, and we've gotten a lot of great help from everyone beta testing it over the past week. So we really appreciate everybody who's been doing that, giving us feedback, bug reports, suggestions. We've actually incorporated a lot of suggestions, especially with the Age Perks and Iron Wolf into the game. And it is now available. So check it out. And may the fourth be with you.